Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We come in today with our ministry of Bible study. This is Word Faith Ministry. And we are coming today with our Bible study ministry today. And we're coming with a heart full of thanksgiving today. And our topic today, first of all, we're going to give a little prayer and go into this Bible study. So let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we come right now giving thanks and praise for another blessed day. We thank you, God. Thank you for being and watching us all last night. You didn't let any danger come to us. You healed us this day. For this is the day, Lord God, that you have made. And we just want to enjoy and be glad. And Father, as the word go forth today, Lord God, check every word that comes out of my mouth. Touch my lips, Lord God, with your altar, your coal from your altar. Touch my lips and what I say. Lord God, use my life for your glory. Father God, have your way. Teach us today that we will hear your word and we will go forth and take and apply in our life. Father, we stand to say that no weapon only against this gospel going forth. It will not prosper. And we thank you right now, Lord that we will receive every word right now today that comes from you. God, we give you praise and we give you thanks. In Christ Jesus' name, we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for your word. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Today is the day that the Lord has made and we're going to and be glad. Hallelujah. Thank you. So we're going to talk today on the peace of God. The peace of God. Hallelujah. We all need that peace. That peace work that passes all understanding. Let's go to, to the first verse we're going to talk on Colossians 3 and 15. We're talking about today the peace. The peace of God. Hallelujah. We all need that peace. That peace. That 15 tells us this. In Colossians 3, 15 tells us, And let the peace of God rule in your heart. Hallelujah. In your heart. What did he say? Rule your heart. He said, And to the which also ye are called into one body. We all are called in Christ. Those that accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. He says as well, he said, and be ye thankful. Hallelujah. The 16 say, let the word of God do a Christ dwell in you, in you richly. Hallelujah. In all wisdom, Teaching and admonishing one another means encouraging one another with the word of God. The word of God gives us that peace. When we are singing praise to the Lord, we are singing praises in to Him. That others would can have that peace. Because we know when the Spirit of the Lord is flowing, there is liberty. There is peace. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So he said, let the peace of God. Colossians 3, 15. He said, let that peace of God rule your heart. Hallelujah. Let's go on to Philippians. Let's go over here. To Philippians 4 and 6. Let's start with 6. It says, be careful for nothing. But in every Thing by what? Prayer and certification with thanksgiving and let your request be made known to God. I mean, don't worry. Pray about it. Whatever you face, make your request known to God. Let him know what's going on. He already knows 
that you need. He already see the situation, the, the thing you're going through. He already see the problem. But it's also let us know. Don't worry about the problem. But what? Make your request. Go to God and say, Lord, I thank you for dealing with this. Lord, I thank you for being in control of this. Holy Spirit, help me to guide me how to handle this. This is what the Word of God is telling us. The Holy Spirit wants to teach us how to let God's peace rule in our heart and rule in our mind. That means when the enemy comes with all kinds of thoughts that are not oh, true thoughts, that are not good thoughts, that are not good reports, that th those thoughts that are going to take your peace, or try to take your peace. Those things are coming against you. Those dark, evil, fiery dark. But he tells us in Philippians what? Or to tell us about how that we got to make our request known to the Lord. Don't worry about it. But he goes on to tell us in seven. He said, and the peace of God. Then he was me. When you go to God, you then the peace of God, come on, will what? Which passes all understanding, will keep your heart. And it will what? Keep your mind through Christ Jesus. See, when I go to him with it and not worry about it, no matter what it is you're facing, but when we go to him with it, then he say what? Then he will keep your heart up of God will be able to work to keep your mind, keep you in your right mind. Because a lot of things that the enemy brings against us, the persecution and the, the trials and in the in the troubles and the cares of this world, these things that come against your mind God, to come to work, to take your peace. But we got to always remember what God's words say. And this is the Holy Spirit going to teach us and let us know that the peace of God will rule our heart and our mind today. He wants to work, be in control. The Holy Spirit wants to be what? In control. He wants what? Get your mind lined up with truth and what God says about you. Hallelujah. This is good news to teach us of the Holy Ghost, to teach us to ask God. Lord, let your peace rule my heart in this situation. Rule my thoughts, my mind. That anything I'm facing today come in and take control. Glory be to God. And this is the word of God telling us today how to let the peace of God rule your heart and your mind. Because Colossians told us, well, let, the, let God peace work, rule your heart and your mind. Now, Philippians 4 and 6 and, and 7 let us know how. Come on. How we gonna allow God to let that be? Because if you were in the peace can't come in the midst of your storm. I know it'd be hard, but this is a, a word for us to get it, to get an understanding that God wants to, to, to be in your situation. He wants to be in everything that we go through. He don't want us. To be heavy burdened down. That's why he tells you, lay aside every weight. Every weight that comes to reset you. That means it come to get you out of upset and keep you bound. He wants you to lay it aside. He wants us to catch all our cares up on him. Because what? He said because he 
be here for you. And he wants us to what? look to him. For which our help comes from the Lord. And let God keep you doing it. Because it will give you a, it will pass our understanding. That means it will give you a peace that you don't understand. How I got peace in the midst of this trouble, I'm going to say. He will place a joy that you know that it wasn't this world gave you that peace. It wasn't man give you that peace. It was man got you out of peace. But God will give you peace in the midst of that situation. He wants to rule your mind. He wants to rule your heart where you can stay in the peace of God. Hallelujah. Let's go to um, John, St. John. Let's go to St. John. You see us talking about that peace. Hallelujah. The peace of God that what? He wants to what? Rule your heart. Your thoughts. He want to rule your heart from heaviness. He wants to what? Give you that peace. St. John uh, 14 and 27 tell us. He says this. This is Jesus saying to us. He said, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as this world gives. Give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Don't let the fear, the enemy, bring fear upon us. Oh, he brings fear upon us because, because of things we are going through. And then fear comes. Attack. But the Holy Spirit wants to teach us today. That God wants to what? Rule the situation. He wants to give you peace within your heart, in your mind. That you won't be confused. That you won't get panicked. You won't faint in the midst of whatever we're facing. This is something, this is a good news for us all to know that whenever we're facing a problem, remember. To ask God, let his peace come in. God, take control of this. Rule my heart when I'm feeling heavy, when I'm feeling down. Lord, let your peace come in. The spirit of peace come in now. And give me peace in the midst of it. That's why he told us, let not your heart be troubled. He told us in Philippians, don't be careful for nothing. Mean don't worry about it. Make that request known. Go to God. We just say, make that request known. Make that situation known unto God. If someone trying to hurt you, someone trying to do you wrong, take it to God. Forgive them. But they know not what they do. See, because the word tells us if we don't forgive, our Father which in heaven won't forgive us. But forgive us in your heart. Forgive us. We know it's hurting. We know it's painful. But ask God to forgive you first. And forgive them who even done you wrong. And knowing that it's not about them. It's all about Christ. So how he ruling your heart. How he letting his peace rule in your mind. Over all troubles and trials. And we thank the Lord for this is a powerful word. There's something that the Holy Spirit wants us to get ourselves lined up. When trials are coming, when affliction is coming against us. And God told us that in, in uh, Psalm 34 that he will what, deliver us out of our, of our what, trials. So what we have to do, keep our focus on to God, whatever we are facing. Go to God. We ask God to help us to remember this God for today. That the Holy Spirit wants to teach us to go, be careful for nothing. Mean don't worry about it. 
God said, don't let Jesus say, don't let your heart be troubled by it. But ask for my peace. Winds are in the midst of your storm. God, give me peace in the midst of this. Give me your peace, not this world peace, he said. Not this world peace. But he said, give me your peace. And that's a peace that nobody or even yourself don't understand. How are you maintaining, maintaining your life? How are you maintaining the mind? It's not you. It's Christ maintaining in you. He giving you that peace. When you should be crying, when you want to scream. When you, when confusion comes, you can call upon him and ask for that peace. And he'll sweep right in when you call upon the name of the Lord. He will come in and bring his peace. He told us, not this world peace, because he loved us to know the world is the cause of you not having it. They can't, they'll give you satisfy you for a little while. But when with the peace of God ruling your heart and your mind, then you can have joy. And you can have it when others don't understand why she's still laughing, why she's still preaching the gospel when she's going through what she's going through. Because it's not you. It's the peace of God that keeps you, even in the midst of this. Yes, we cry. Yes, we get hurt. But it still takes God to come in and sustain you in the midst of this. It shall pass. And I will remember that God is with you until the end. He will go with us no matter what we are going through or facing. He will bring you out as pure God. He will be in the storm with you. We just want to come today. This is Word, Faith, Ministry, and we just want to come and encourage somebody. Maybe going through some, maybe facing things. See, we have to face it ourselves in order to help somebody else. It is not about what I face, it's about what will what someone else needs to know how to face through Jesus. The world can't give you peace. It'll give it to you for a little while, but it's always safe. But with the peace of God, you are overcome through all of it. He will bring you out no matter what the naysayers are saying about you. You got peace. I'd rather have the peace of God than have all the things of the world. What profit the man to gain the whole world and lose your soul? But with God, you'll have peace, you'll have joy. Because He said, I'll give you that joy. I'll give you the fullness of my joy. The joy of the Lord is your peace, is my peace. And it's your peace. And it's a peace that passes all understanding. So God tell me, let not your heart be trust. But always remember to put your trust in the Lord. And he wants to what? Rule your heart and your mind. He wants to sit with he wants to go with you all of If we will trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not to your understanding. That's me. Don't worry about it. Don't try to figure it out. Don't try to fix it. God knows the way. All we need to say, Lord, let your will be done. And his will and his purpose for us is good and not evil. It is good expected. Blessing prosperity. Blessing that overtakes. 
Glory be to God. God will never leave us nor forsake us. He said if the whole world is against you, he said the whole world can be against you, but I'll be there for you. Glory be to God. That's good news. So we just want to thank God for his word today, and I pray that it encouraged somebody because it have encouraged me to know how to constantly go to God and say, Lord, whatever situation I'm in, let your peace rule on this situation. Rule my heart over this. This means help me to be an overcomer. Rule my mind when the enemy want to bring negative thoughts. When the enemy want to make me mad and get me angry. Rule my heart when he want to make me say things that are out of the will of God. Rule my thoughts and what I say and think. Hallelujah. So we thank God for this word today. This is our Wednesday Bible study. And we thank God that he gives us a powerful word to take and, and meditate on this and be doers of this word today. The peace of God. That's what we call it. Because he sent his son here on this earth. Peace unto all men. And that's what he called. He came that we may have that peace. And he said, not this world peace. I come to give you my peace. A peace that no man can understand. And that's a joy. And that's a good news to hear today. So we always want to give someone an invitation to Jesus Christ. If you don't know him and you never have accepted him, you can only just believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross and God sent his son. What? That he may what? Go to the cross. That's all you got to believe. That he sent his son. For I will see. Not his thing. He didn't do no wrong. But believe in your heart. Call upon the name of the Lord. And say, Lord, here I am. Come into my heart. Save me. Change me. And renew me. And make me a new creature. And that's all you got to say. And believe it in your heart. And he'll take away your sin. We thank you for hearing this message today. And we love you. And God loves you more. And we will pray to this word come with power today. Thank you for listening. This is Word Faith Ministry. And I am Minister Harry. Glory be to God. Let's end this with a little prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word today. We thank you that we heard what you said. You will give us peace. And that peace that passes all understanding. Father, we will show you that it will rule our heart and mind. Whatever we're facing. Father, we thank you for coming in and teaching us. Holy Spirit teaching us how to come to you and not worry about situation. But trust in you and make our request known. Whatever we go through. And knowing that you will give us that peace that passes all understanding. A peace in our heart. A peace in our mind. And we give you thanks that as we take this word, let us hear it in Lord God and apply it and use it in our mind. Day. And we give you thanks. And we give you praise for the listening. Bless them, God. Bless them to have an ear to hear your word. Not look at me, but look at the God that's being preached today. We give you thanks and we give you praise. Father God, we love you. Thank you for loving us so much. We pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Love you and God loves you more. Hallelujah.